Hello, welcome to my talk. This talk is about QCCE Secure Generic Key Encapsulation Mechanism with tighter security in the quantum random occur model. First, let's recall some background of KEM. The Fujisaki Akamoto transformation is a well-known and widely used generic KEM. It can turn a CPA-secure PKE into a CCA-secure KEM, and the reduction proof is tightly in the random Oracle model, or ROM. However, facing with the threat of quantum computer, we need to analyze it in the quantum random Oracle model, or QROM. In 2017, Hoffman and others decomposed the FO into two transformations named U and T. They analyzed them and their variance in the ROM and QROM. Several works are devoted to improve the reduction tightness in the QROM, but they all suffer from the square root advantage loss. Until last year, Kutta and others gave an improved one way to hiding lemma, named measure rewind measure, one way to hiding. Using it, the loss is reduced to about d square. Here, d is the query depth to the random oracles. On the other hand, Saido and O introduced a new security notion named DS for public key encryption scheme in 2018. They gave a transformation named SXY that can turn a DS secure PKE into a CCA secure key app tightly. This transformation is similar to a variant of U, except that there is a re-encryption check in the decryption algorithm. They also give two transformations named KC and T-Punk that can turn one-way or CPA-secure PKE into DS-secure PKE. However, they all suffer from the square root advantage loss. Besides, they require the underlying PKE to be perfectly correct. Next year, they showed that the transformation SXY even can turn DN security to QCCA security tightly. QCCA is a stronger security notion than CCA. It allows the adversary to make quantum queries to the decapsulation oracle. In our work, we reduce the security loss of KC to about D using the measure rewind measure one way to hiding. Once more, we remove the requirement of perfectly correctness. And we prove the combined transformation SXY, KC, and T 
can turn any CPA secure PKE into QCCA secure KEM with loss about D square. The combined transformation SXY and KC can turn any one-way CPA secure deterministic PKE into QCCA secure KEM with loss about D. The following is a comparison of KEM from CPA security. We achieve advantages of previous works at the same time, and our proof doesn't need other requirements. Now, let's focus on the transformation KC. We analyze it in two cases of underlying determinist, deterministic PKE. The first case is that the underlying DPKE is derived from T. The second case is that it's a general dead correct DPKE. Recall that the transformation T turns a randomized PKE into a deterministic PKE by assigning a hash function to the encryption randomness. The hash function is modeled as a random oracle in the proof. But the correctness notion we used is in the standard model. There should not be random oracles related to it. So these two cases are disjoint. To deal with the correctness error, we use the modified DS notion, which will be described later. And we use an event to separate some bad cases in the proof. In the first case, we define it that for a randomly chosen message, there exists another message such that they map to the same cipher text. In the second case, we define it that there are some messages that can cause decryption error. These two events can be proved that they only happen with a small probability. Note that the probability is taken over the generation of key pair in both cases. Here, we show the definition of DS. We say a PKE scheme is DS secure if there exists a simulator S given the public key as input, satisfying the following two requirements. The first is statistical disjointness, roughly seen that the simulator almost uh, always outputs a uh, wrong cipher text. The second is cipher text indistinguishability. Roughly seen that for any efficient algorithm A, given the public key and the cipher text produced from normal encryption algorithm, of the simulator. It's hard to distinguish which is the case. In our proof, to cooperate with the bad event we defined before, 
we modify the first requirement to disjointness. Specifically, we remove the maximum and consider it in the average case. Then we can prove that if the bad event doesn't happen, the probability of this draw is very small and the disjointness can be proved. Before we prove the ciphertext indistinguishability, we first recall the measure rewind measure one way to hiding lemma. Let G and H be two random functions with domain X. Z is a random value. S is a subset of X. G and H are equal except for the points in Z set S. Then for any algorithm A with local access to G or H, there exists an algorithm D with local access to G and H, such that the distinguished advantage of A can be bounded by the probability that D outputs some elements in S. Now, we try to prove the ciphertext indistinguishability. In the encryption algorithm OKC, a hash or message is added to the ciphertext, but the simulator S chose the random value and the D part. To prove the DS security, we may want to define a function H prime to be H, except for the point M star, so that we can invoke the measure rewind measure one way to hiding to construct a one witness attacker against the underlying PKE. But M star is not given to the adversary. H prime cannot be simulated directly. However, we can replace M star with a set in which are messages that can be encrypted to the challenge ciphertext. With this definition, H prime can be simulated by testing whether the queried message is in this set or not. Then the ciphertext indistinguishability can be proved. Next, we will consider the transformation S X Y. Corresponding to the proof of KC, we also analyze it in two cases. The first case is that the underlying DPKE is derived from KC and T. The second case is that it's a general direct correct DPKE. Case 2 has been proved by Kusagawa and uh, Yamakawa. We note that their proof also works with the modified DS notion. And case 1 can be proved based on their proof. Specifically, to deal with the correctness error, 
we insert two intermediate games into their game based proof. In the first game, we replace the hash function g from t with g prime that only outputs good randomness. In the second game, we change g prime back to g. This method is used in many works, and the distinguished probability can be bounded by a lemma named generic distinguished problem with bounded probabilities. In the games between about two games, the decryption is always correct. Then the proof of case 2 can be reused. Finally, we can combine above results, getting that the combined transformation S, X, Y, K, C, and T can turn any CPA secure direct correct PKE into a QCCA secure KEM with loss about D squared. The combined transformation SXY and KC can turn any one way CPA secure direct correct DPKE into a QCCA secure KEM with loss upon D. Thank you for listening.